welcome to another episode of our Salem by Night campaign, our chronicle of Vampire the Masquerade, set in 1984, Salem, Oregon. Uh, last we left off on our mid-season finale, as some, some people have called it, uh, our group sat down with the sheriff, Harvey Green. They were introduced to Melvin Wright, uh, who will not be with us today. Um, unfortunately, but uh, we miss him nonetheless. And um, you were asked to shadow. Uh, he was he was asked to shadow your group because of uh, Albert's sire. Uh, you were questioned about Werner Hertzfeld and the connection that you might have to him. Um, you were told about the new Lasombra price to join the Camarilla moving forward that has come down from Chicago. Um, you learn that there is a triumvirate of cities that the Cam Camarilla holds dear, which are Chicago, New York, and Philadelphia. And you also discussed the Anarch movement trying to claim the whole west coast of the United States. Um, you did find out that Hertzfeld is called a dragon, uh, or for those in layman's terms, what would they call Clan Semitsi. Um, you explained that you saw the riverboat, what you saw in the riverboat, and uh, what you believe is a hunter, um, or that there are possible hunters in the city. Uh, three places of note on the relationship map that you kind of gave away are the Lucky Dime Diner, the Ruby Petal Florist, and the 710 Special Bowling Alley, um, as well as a total of 11 kindred on the board the sheriff joshua antoine and yvette being among them um, you also saw a jacketed male follow the sheriff out of the diner uh, and then get into a gray van and you also got to meet uh betty d one of the best familiars that has ever been created uh, but you ended up going back to Albert's apartment for the night. Uh, Betty D made herself at home in more ways than one. Uh, and then on the night of April the 29th, Sunday in Salem, um, you made your way over to the, the florist where you saw that it had been burnt down. Uh, and that's when you heard a voice uh, and a fellow kindred kind of step into the husk of the building and then reveal to you that there is a secret basement that has been protected from the flames. Uh, this, of course, is Andrew Givens. Connie followed him into the florist shop, um, but Albert stayed just outside the husk itself and this is where we pick up it's good to see the two of you again it's been some time it hasn't been that long has it uh but it definitely has yeah it's been you forever. uh you hear albert you hear just a quiet kind of this this doesn't this doesn't feel right and then there's a sudden as you suddenly shift over to see where the noise came from uh, you notice that Melvin has vanished uh, oh. and you can see that Connie has stepped over and that Andrew Givens has kind of bent down behind what was the counter and is opening up a, uh, a kind of latched passage into the uh, the downstairs basement area I want to make a uh, I want to see if I can find Melvin's uh, footsteps okay like first, I want to I first roll the night he walks away uh, first no first roll in second half of season one second half of season one uh, let's have you do an awareness um, okay. And composure. Okay. And let's see what that does to you. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh boy. Well, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. It is a single 10. It is not two 10s. So you did not crit. Uh, but you hear that after after a bit, uh, you do hear that he has kind of stepped across the street. And as you kind of try to follow him and you kind of tilt your head in his direction, a car passes by and just completely washes his footsteps away from you. I'll meet you at the hospital. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, to I'm Melvin. It, hey, Melvin, he just walked away. You're, you're on the other. You're, here. you're all the way over I'm there. I'm not here. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you're, you're still. Oh, you're, you're within. You can't earshot. leave this long, Chewy. That's what I'm gonna say. Yo, you're within earshot of each other. Just so you guys are oh. aware. Um, okay. See, but... see you. <laughs> I'm not go. I'm not going to hospital. I'm. I'm coming over there. I want to see what's in the basement. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I'm coming up. I want. Uh, I want to see what's in the basement, Connie. And Andrew, Connie. Andrew kind of holds Hold up. Hold on. I'm coming closer. Andrew holds up his hand, and uh, then he looks over at you, Connie. He's just like, "Is is he always like this?" Sometimes it's worse. Now is not that time. Imagine how much worse it can get. And then add like a three times multiplier to that. That's usually where we're at. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the circus. Uh, he looks at you as, as Albert approaches and uh, he holds out his hand. And he's like, I'll, I'll have you know that uh, what's down here is gruesome uh, make sure that this is not for the faint of heart um, I understand that you are working with one of the primogen um, Samuel uh -huh. yes 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 uh, yes yes uh, this might have something to do with that so uh, uh, mr. mr. hunter yes yes mm -hmm. yes ah yes 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 yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He's the, he's the one who let us here. Yes, he's the one who gave us the bullet that shot <laughs> off my hand. Oh, that shot off my hand. Yes. I forgot. Y yes. <laughs> Your hand that's that's growing back so healthily. Yeah, but not my wedding ring. No, 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 no. That's uh, fine. We'll never um, find that again. I um, hope you had no attachment to that. I'm sure there's a story attached to this whole thing. Uh, but if you'll follow me and you see him start to descend the stairs into the basement and as you follow uh, the first thing that hits you is this scent of iron and just this very kind of moist uh, setting uh, it feels hot in here even though it isn't above um, and as you kind of step off of the stairs onto the floor, there is a bit of a kind of soft, very thin splashing, uh, almost like a very thin puddle. Um, and as you look down, you see that the floor is red from corner to corner. Um. Uh, and looking up, you can see as he draws back a kind of shower curtain, there is a naked woman hanging from chains attached to her wrists, through her wrists, and through each of her ankles. She is naked, and there are brands that have been kind of carved into her flesh. Uh, and as she looks up at him and then turns her attention to the two of you he taps one of the brands on her shoulders and her mouth falls open like she is screaming in pain but there is no sound i'm a very big fan of your decorating um right connie Connie? 
the decorating. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, where? Um. Mm. That. Have you the, seen the her before? Have I? Is no. she alive? Yes. Thanks, yes, I of course. So, Connie. I don't. Um, it would make if she was dead. I, it, it would make torturing her all the more difficult. Don't you agree, Gretel? And she, and again, he stabs the same rune with his finger, and again, her body tenses, her mouth swings open like she's screaming, but there is again no sound. Is this the F the, the 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 agent? No, no. No. Do okay. we have we seen her? Can I can I roll to see if I know who she sure. is? Sure. Go ahead and make an awareness and intelligence, please, to see if you can pinpoint oh. where you might have seen her. I got intelligence. I hope so. Well, I don't have you don't. I, I don't. mean Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah. I gotta remember how to do things. Where where, where yeah. am I going? If one of you didn't have so many hunger dice, you could have tried to re-roll that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? Stigmata time. Let's go. No, no, no. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Not again. It's no. going to happen tonight. We already know it. No, it's, no, it's just a matter Three of time. Three games in a row, we're going to fucking bleed from my eyes. Try, try to stay away from that. So, wait, what was it? Intelligence and what? Uh, awareness and intelligence. Awareness. Intelligence. Hold on, let me find awareness. Yeah. There you Brandon. are. I have some of that. Let's see. I'm, I'm pretty Ooh, smart too. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. How do you spell Gretel? G R E T E L. Oh, shit, yeah. Three successes. Yeah. Must be fucking nice. The. <laughs> the. It's one thing I got. For Albert, you kind of remember seeing her somewhere. Uh, she is rather naked, and it, it is kind of pulling your focus away from where you're trying to remember. Uh, Connie, you remember her from one of the Elysiums um, that you were allowed to kind of go to but not really participate in. Um, is, she, uh, is she... I'm assuming she's... Uh, like one of the humans that that we feed off of sometimes. No, right? no, like she's a, a kindred. A blood doll. She's a kindred. She's a kindred. Yeah. This this now feels very illegal. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Um. <sighs> so. What? Um. Why? Why? Why is she? What's hap Why is she up there? Oh. What clan does she belong to? Oh, unfortunately, she belongs to my clan, uh, and she is up there because she has decided to side with the Anarchs, and sold some of our clan secrets away. Isn't that right, Gretel? And you see him poke a different brand, and this time her scream shatters your eardrums like it is primal. <laughs> And it is like a shotgun blast uh, of just sound coming out of her mouth. And the second he lets go of the brand, like, it immediately stops. Mm. I have a question. Yes. For Will. Okay. Does Albert know about Diablerizing or no? Would that be something he learned in his years or no? Um, you know what? The research? I'll let you make... A... I'll let you try to roll for that. Um, okay. Let's try Can to I... do an awareness and a composure check. Hunger dice look real nice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did help you. But they are dangerous. Uh, with yep. four successes, you have heard, especially with your sire, you have mm -hmm. heard about Diablerie and what it could promise you. Uh, but you also know that it is a dangerous path. And 
the weak willed should not attempt it because you might lose yourself uh, and give whatever you were trying to devour a new body instead. Okay. But yeah, okay. Um, he kind of looks at you, he's like, uh, Greto here um, was found to, uh, to have been siding with the Anox recently, and I believe that she is responsible, not solely, of course, um, she's not smart enough for that, and he slaps her across the face um, as he says that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see some blood begin to trickle out of the corner of her mouth. Uh, I have been trying for a few nights now to uh, to ascertain just how much she has given away. But she seems to be rather tight-lipped. I'm hoping that something you two have seen or heard of might uh, rattle her cage, as it were. Uh, Anox such as the dragon. No, most dragons are considered Anox. Ah, uh, yes, I apologize. Um, Do you know of any in particular? Uh, Werner Hersfeld. We, uh, we learned of his name last night. He appears to be possibly moving down into uh, Salem. Hersfeld is here. That's interesting. Yes, are you familiar with him? Yes, unfortunately. I've, I've, I've danced with him, as it were. And this is on a good authority that you have that Hearthfeld is coming here. Uh, I don't... I'm not aware of the... I'm sorry, who are you again? Uh, I'm Andrew Givens. I'm part of the Tremere Chantry here oh. in Salem. Oh, we're not properly introduced to one another. I apologize. That is so unlike me. I'm Professor Albert Frost. I am... Uh, he shakes sire your hand. To... I, I'm... Hold on, 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 hold on. Uh, His hand I'm, is yeah. sticky from all the blood. Oh, I, uh, I bet. From, from Gretel. I am uh, Professor Albert Frost, child of uh, Isabella Gianelli. Oh. Yes. She has, she has an interesting eye from what I've seen. Uh, I hope you are I... much better suited for this than her previous child uh i i hope so as well and he turns to connie and he kind of nods graciously uh but the uh, uh on the matter of in on uh, on the matter of the uh information mm -hmm. um uh between looking at Gretel, the four of us i suppose um, um uh, this information may have come from one who may or may not run a jail, if you understand my intentions here. Yes, yes, I think a five-year-old understood the reference. And you but see, you, did... you see that okay. she does smile as he says that. She liked your joke. What's this? What's the the brandings that are on her body? Is this something that I would be familiar with as well? No, no. These look esoteric in nature, almost uh, Lovecraftian. Mm. Gibbons, Gibbons was on the relationship map, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how uh, what's the plan with the how long we get how long are you doing this to to Gretel for until you get some information, huh? Right? I mean, there are and... there are 15 brands on her body and I've only really explored fully around 6 or 7 of them. Ooh, what does an eighth one do, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, pick a brand. Ah, uh, the one under her ear? Go ahead. Be my guest. Oh, I've... oh do I have to touch it? I mean, do, how, how far along do you want to be involved with this? 
Um, it depends. Uh, some would say not at all. Others would say very minimally. I'm not. I believe, if I understand the Camarilla correctly, this is very illegal. What we are doing, at least for both of us to be involved. I understand for you, this is this is a, a right of way. This is your clan. You're taking care of things in house. But for the two of us, I feel like we can get in a little bit of trouble for this. No. Why? Why would you be in trouble for this? I don't understand. I don't know. I haven't talked. I don't talk to a lot of people, so it's very hard for me to really properly understand the rules of action i just understand what i've seen and read i mean i mean speaking of red i mean you've, uh, I, if i understand that because you're, you're you're tremere yes yes of course if i understand correctly um do you know anything about atlantis of course oh my god i've i have at least three books on it is it possible could, before books? we get hold on before we get into this conversation that we could easily have literally anywhere else what what do you want from us? Well, uh, what exactly did Samuel ask of you? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> he asked one, us... One moment, please. One moment. Hey, Connie, can I meet you? Can I see you over here real quickly? Sure, sure. Hey, Connie, remember four days ago? Uh-huh. Yeah. Will, has it been four days? It's been three. Hey, three Will, days ago. Uh, well, no, you're Connie. Hey, Connie, remember three I'm... days ago uh -huh. when we were asked to do this thing? Uh-huh. Yeah. This thing that we're now Are we real deep we're... in. Are we looking for home... missing homeless people? We're... That's a good question. I feel like what we're supposed to be looking for is like Bullying. the weapons we're looking for what we were investigating weapons and or then, am, ammunition and we found and and i think there's just like there's there are vampires hunting under vampires which i'm assuming is why we have gretel here children it's children missing children missing children possible slabot incursion um <laughs> that, that's that guy i killed um yeah, 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 yeah. I don't hey, remember children, hey, but sure. Hold on, hey, I. Con hey, Ashley, do you think we deviated from the original path at one point? <laughs> I think, I think we've just been flowing with the waves, and the waves led us into the room of blood with the lady, and that's, and now we gotta figure out how to, how to tie this all in together. <laughs> how did we get to where we are today? <laughs> Today, today we are in a room full of blood and a lady, and that's all I know. And I know that we're supposed to have some information to help, this, to help, either help the lady, help the guy. We're there, but what we're supposed to do, I'm not sure. But I'm getting we're, a little scared. We're, we're, we were given a bullet that can hurt vampires. We were given a bullet that like harness the sun. Yes, we and did. Then, and miss, there are missing children. There are missing children, and you got a ghoul in the, in the hospital. That's no. Hold on. Hold on. We're going back episode one. <laughs> episode one. <laughs> going all the way back. We're going. I'm, I'm right. opening the book. I'm at my notes. April 27th. <laughs> Connie uh -huh. Eastworm, Jane Arwin, Orpheum Theater, roughly 10 to 12 people. Uh, the prince is a woman. Her name is Geraldine. Um, Antoine Davies resided here previously. Jackson Jibs. He's Nosferatu as fuck. Um, uh -huh. Children have been going missing in Salem. I don't think that was our job, though. No. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Samuel Hunter hands a collection of news clippings about a dog. There has been strange movement as of late shotguns. So I think we're on the same. I think we're on the right path still. Okay, I trust I you. Don't trust Do you know me. what to say to this guy? Okay, are you, are you I'm ready to put this... back are you ready I'm to not back a in? very, I'm not a, uh, Connie is not, I want, is not I want, I'm glad we're making the choice that I'm gonna, I'm the top, I'm the face. You're the face, but I have to fix it later, be, because we know. I'm gonna know. bleed from my eyes in like 10 minutes. Pretty much, so, <laughs> I mean, you can, you start it, and I will 
God. All right. All right. You Mold ready? You ready to time back in? You ready to time back in? Yeah. Okay. And All right. Ready? And there break. We go. Okay. All right, so from my understanding, three days ago, we were tasked by Mr. Samuel Hunter to go and uncover something that was happening at the docks. Yes? Yes. Now, um, so, na so we get to the docks. Yes, we get to the docks, and at the docks, there is a woman inside a boat. And we're inside the boat, and uh, in the boat, there is another woman, and she has this large relationship map. And on the relationship map are all these people, all these people. I, I'm going to stop myself right now because I actually don't know how much of this am I supposed to keep telling people. I know. This is a lot of information we're giving this to a so, person wait, that we barely know. know but... Your face was on the relationship map. Yeah. That this woman had. So don't worry about it. The sheriff is going to solve it. I think. I just. I just. I just want to find Atlantis. <laughs> he. Connie. He takes a moment. And you see him kind of put his. He puts his elbow on the upper back of Gretel. <laughs> to kind of rest there. And he. He looks at it for a moment. Like, all right, so, so all you want to do is find the mythical city that belongs to the mages, uh, and you want nothing to do with what's going on here in Salem. Is that what I'm understanding? All right, I'm going to pause for a second. Did you say the mages? Tell me more about these mages. Well, yes, I thought this Atlantis? why you were after. I'm taking out my I'm taking out my special pen and pad. Okay. Atlantis belongs to mages. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's like, do you, do both of you have nothing to offer then with Gretel then? Is this, is this what I'm understanding? Uh, does Gretel know any, I mean, uh, uh, hey, Connie, do you have anything? All we know. Me? Yes, please, please. I, all, all we know is that there are weapons that are, that can kill vampires floating around and that some people familiar some familiar faces look he has no fingers i lost my wedding familiar though. and <laughs> familiar faces that you you know and we know are on a board of relationship peoples a relationship on a river map. boat a relationship map oh, that is, is leading part. us into some real dark scary places that's as much as we know, but we know that there is some sort of, um, like, someone is, uh, I, I, like, Gretel here is a good example. Someone is definitely giving away information, giving away information to other clans. And now we're kind of, now there seems to be a, vampires attacking vampires. Oh, and that no. seems wrong. Connie, I figured it out. I understand why we are here. And I, okay. I, I go and I poke the 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 brand underneath Gretel's ear. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so if you would be so kind. Oh shit. As to to make a humanity roll for me, please. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Should have thought about this. Why were you, why would you poke the brand? Because I because I had a question that I was going to ask her. Ah uh, okay, got it. So here we go. Oh why why can't I see my humanity roll? It stops right underneath humanity. Hold on, let me reload the page. Uh, the question's gonna be, though, Gretel, did you, by chance, sell out the flower shop? You see, as you touch... That was also on the relationship map. As you touch the brand, uh, her body convulses, and there we go. Yeah. her bottom lip is sucked into her mouth, and you can see that she's biting with everything that she has... And there's just these two trickle of blood that start to kind of flow out from where her fangs are. Uh, and the moment you let go, like, she ex sighs exasperatedly. Um, and for a moment, given your, uh, your predator type, there's this huge crash of just disgust in yourself uh, as you earn yourself your first stain on humanity I'm not my question was going to be I rolled five dice but my humanity is eight did I do that right or wrong 
Uh, I don't know. Because they gave me the option for five when I rolled it because I started to panic. Um, <laughs> no, that you should have rolled your full humanity. All right, then they do that again. Eight. Let's see what you get this time. Four. Okay. Four is a little better. Um, four yeah. does protect you from the stain. Thank Christ. Uh, but the remorse and the and the disgust is still there and is still. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna cry about it later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Connie, can you actually do that next time? I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> but you see, after <laughs> after she sighs, uh, and she starts to just, like, the the reflexive breathing, she just looks up at you, and she's like, yeah, yeah, that was me. They were trying to save me. Holy shit, I didn't actually expect that to work. Hmm. Who's they? The Anarchs. Oh, the Anarchs. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Things what? are coming. Ooh. Things are coming together. Wait. Hold on. Touch it. Touch her on a different spot. I'm not going to look. I don't want to touch her. I, I think you. I think it's going to be a lot better for you than it ever will be for me. No, I already have a stain on my humanity. You do? Yeah. No, I don't. You don't. I know I don't. So you should touch her. No. You already know the question. I don't know the question. Oh, all right. So the question is going to be, uh, uh, oh, hold on. I forgot the question. Great. So I would I could have poked her for no reason. Oh no. The question is going to be, do you know? Do you do you know Hertzolf? 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 Is that the Anarch? The, the gentleman is tr coming down. Is that going to be? Oh, uh, Werner, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Gibbons. He he's still there. He looks at you. He's like, yes. I don't feel entirely com comfortable torturing someone. If I were to ask questions, it, this, do you think it'd be all right if you were to torture? Extremely, yes. Um, mm. However, I do. I do want to make sure that we are not you as a collective. Your first time. Ah, oh, 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 saucy fellow. <laughs> um, I do want to make sure that as a collective, we're not going to move past the fact that th th these magic people run Atlantis. And I want to make, I want, I would like more information on that can, because that's can, never come up in my research. And I own at least 50 books on Atlantis. Mm. You'll have to come and visit me at the Chantry House someday then, Mr. The Mr. Frost. The Chantry House? It, do you have, what's the address? Oh I give him my, my, pen, my pen and pad. Oh, uh, it's, not a, it's not a place that you can just go to, Professor Frost. Oh, oh right. Oh no! Oh, I completely understand. All oh, right. Should I bring a book or like a, a like tea or something? Oh my god! I'm about to poke this bitch myself. <laughs> He's like, no, no. Um, All right. I I'll bring flowers though, yeah, out of respect for our new residents. Sure. Okay. Right. Can you? Can Is there like a specific flower that you? No, I'm wait. I'm actually between you and me. I'm stalling. So because I've noticed that Connie gets upset very quickly, so I'm mm -hmm. stalling for her to do it herself. I don't want to do. So is there, a is there a specific, do you like Lily, Lily of the Valley? I'm see, very good fan of Lily of the Valley. He, he reaches over and just taps one of the brands like right above her buttocks. And All right. uh, again, her body just tenses up for a moment. You just see her mouth close and there is this really high pitched kind of hum of just pure pain. And then there's like a single tear of blood that comes down her left eye. Uh, and he keeps his finger there. And he's like, what What was your question to her again? Are you, uh, have you ever spoken to a gentleman named Herfeld? He removes his finger. And again, she just, her body releases. And there's just this, yes, yes, I have. Please stop. Hmm. Do you think we should stop, or do you think we should keep pressing for information? I mean, if he's welcome, well, well, I mean, I'm sure. Do you have any questions? Do I have any questions? Yes, um, because I'm going to write down the answers because I have not written them down yet. Okay. All right. Okay, so Gretel, um, 
Why are you doing? Why? Why did you do this? Why are you selling information from your... Why? Why? <laughs> because he's a dick. And he, she just kind of like turns to look at Andrew. Very rude. Uh, he's been very kind to us. For a lore master, he hoards everything for himself. He doesn't want us to progress. He just wants to... He just wants to take over for himself. And you see that he backhands her. And he's like, how dare you? After everything I've done for you, child. Okay, well, what's the... Do you... What? What's the goal? To overthrow this guy? Is that your goal? Is to get this guy overthrown? All of them. No one left standing. Okay. The primogen. She nods. And what of the children? If they side with you them, they side with them. But you're either on our side or you're against us. Yes, but I don't think you understand the actual question here. That what happens when you take when they take over? There, there's no society, Lord. Society cannot exist without a government. I don't think you understand that. Anything. Better. The primogen are there for a reason. They are the elders. They they understand the way of the world better than we do. Anything's better than I... this bullshit. You're just Samuel's you could... puppets. There's more to him than you think you know. Samuel, the is the the the, the Malkavian primogen. She nods. Is there anything else you think anything else we should know before the weapons? Who's who's been abducting the children in the area? You see Andrew slide a chair over and he lowers her to about maybe like two feet, two and a half feet off the ground. And then he just kind of puts his feet on top of her back like a like a coffee table. Oh, this has been rather enlightening, I think. I appreciate the two of you coming down here for this. Gretel, what do you... Oh, I'm slipping into fucking French. Here comes Chlor. My name is Albert Frost. Gretel, what do you know of the kindred named Jane Arwen? And her whereabouts. We haven't seen her in two days. She looks at you for a moment. And then she looks away. She shakes her head. Hmm. Was it like a shake of like, I'm not fucking talking to you? Or like a shake of she knows nothing? A little of both. Column A, column B. Mr. Gibbons, if you don't mind, please. Oh. Of course. And you see he pulls his feet back and he taps one on her thigh. And at this point you see that her body is convulsing so violently that you can actually hear some of like the the bones around the shoulder blades kind of snapping. The tendons are just kind of being pulled to their very tautest. Uh, and you can hear what sounds like one of her ribs just bending beyond its purpose and just kind of snapping into itself. Um, but he lets go once that noise happens and he's just like, answer the nice people, Gretel. They didn't come here for a show. Uh, she spits up some blood and she looks up at you. Yeah, I know her. She gave us some gun, some documents, and traded it for passage out west. Huh. Okay. I feel like that's all. 
that's all I had to ask any 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 more from from you not related to Atlantis <laughs> that caveat is important um <clears throat> Outside of personal research, no, that is all I have. Um, uh, Mr. Gibbons, I am not sure if you have received all of the information that you need, but from one <clears throat> man of academia to another, I thank you. I look forward to any form of invitation to visit your Chantry house. I will In... I will send you an invitation when the time is right, Professor Frost. Uh, All right. But I feel like this night has been very forthcoming. And there have been some rather nice revelations. And, and he kind of pats her on the bare ass as, do... he, as he stands up and raises her back up to about eye level. I do have one more question. Well, for me or for Regretful. her? Oh, for Gretel. Of course. I, I apologize. It, it, it's, it, this seems a tad important, but Gretel, and I will ask you this question with, with the promise that I, or Connie here, will, will not touch any of the brandings on your body. I cannot speak for Mr. Gibbons unless you answer us truthfully. Ah. Uh, do you know how far Jane went? Or did she just say Wes? She mentioned something about Hollywood. Uh, about something about a sire. I don't know. I just know she wanted to get out through, uh, through West Salem. What? When that, when was this? Yesterday? That belongs to us now. She nods. She could not have gone far, Connie. Okay. I know we have other things to do tonight, but she could not have gotten far, and we can stop <clears> this right now and take her back to the pr to the prince. I don't know if we're gonna find her it depends on how she's traveling and besides what it, they're gonna tear her limb from limb we owe a duty to the city and if that's if that's what they must do that's what they must do but I don't know about you but my my personally my kind is not looked favorably upon here and I feel as though it's important to show that the both of us are reliable in this need. We've already, this is our fault that, that these documents are in her people's hands. No offense to you, Gibbons. You know this is not towards you, it's more to the Anarchs. Um, <clears throat> this is, if, if the sheriff or the prince are to find out, they, this will come down on us. And we will be tasked with retrieving her for punishment regardless. And we now have an idea of where she is. She's left through West Salem. We can find her before she sleeps. You hear Gretel start to laugh at that. I would cross the bridge if I were you. You're soft like a cupcake. I'm going to eat you alive. At least this one's got some some balls to her and you see Andrew slap the hell out of her again thanks <sighs> thank you both and um get a Febreze or something in here um it's awful in here hasn't been invented okay you know, yeah. I hear yeah, if you throw some lemon in the in the garbage disposal, it'll do a whole lot of good. Oh, yeah, so a few, a few drops yeah. of a few drops of vanilla. Yes, of course. 
Yeah. I'm a very big fan of vinegar. It's a very nice smell. My wife used to wear it before she passed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a. There used to be a flower store here. They used to hide this scent a lot better. But you know. Yeah, it she got blew it up. Burned fucking down. Yeah, 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 we heard about that. And you see that he taps one of the brands, uh, and again, <sighs> this time. Did you have? Did, did you have lilies of the valley by chance? Oh my god! Can yeah. we go? Thanks. Uh, your question is drowned out by her screaming. Yep. Okay. I figured as much. Yeah. Right. But he kind of like waves at you as you start to back away from him. Thank you, Mr. Gibbons. We didn't see anything here this evening. <laughs> no. And as you climb back up the stairs into the street, the scent of of iron and the sloppy kind of steps that you were taking seem to just become a distant memory. And as you break the threshold and come up into the husk of the of the floor shop that used to be here, you're having trouble piecing together whatever you saw down there. Do we hold the the information we received? Yeah. Yeah. It it's it's starting to become difficult though. I start writing it down. Okay. I mean, I was writing most of it down while I was there anyway cuz yeah. I, I I yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like you start to see your notes and you're just like, when did when did we ask this? Like when when did this even come up? What is what is what was the train of thought that led to this? And and as you step as you step further and further away from from the the basement, it becomes cloudier and cloudier, murkier, murkier until all you have are your your notes. You know? The name Gretel with a question mark. Hertzfeld pointing to her and all the notes that you took. The what is a mage outside of like the fantasy of it? Why do I have mages in Atlantis? This is gonna set me back for months, Connie. For months. What? <clears throat> I kind of have like a can vampires get headaches? Probably. I think we had one two days ago. I yeah. You're living with one right now. Oh, that's true. Anyway. <laughs> so, um... I feel like... I feel like... Wh what are we going to do now? We have to go... Um, don't we have to go feed your dog or something? The hospital does kind of come name. to mind. She has a name. She's uh, my neighbor. Hello, Melanie? Her, her name is Melissa. 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 Yeah. Yes, we need to go feed Melissa. We need to go feed Melissa. But why am I thinking of Jane all of a sudden? Did you? All right. Jane sold information. Jane sold all items to Anarx. To Anarx? Anarx. I don't know what an Anarx is. An Anarx? She sold it to Anarx for passage to Hollywood. Like Hollywood, then, California? We need to find her. So She sold those documents that we got at the beginning we of We need the those book. documents. We need those. Oh, where do you... All right. Do you... All right. So here's the plan. Albert Frost original plan oh, right God, here I right hate... now we are going to feed the non-dog Melissa we are going to go <laughs> we are not going to go to the meeting I'm going to suppose Mickey went for us uh -huh. um, we're going to go find Jane I suppose it says she left through wait wait but if she left bridge. she left through the bridge what bridge? What, what in West Salem yes oh, okay all right. Do you are you familiar with that area? Am I? I'm familiar, familiar with area? most of Lower Italy and <laughs> my neighborhood. Uh, I mean, some, am I familiar, some of, Salem, some of West Salem is familiar to to Connie because that's where Joshua's haven is. All right. I will say though, it's it's pretty. Um, rough 
on that side of the of the bridge. It's all right. We're um we're gone here with vampires. Uh huh. Um. We're like Dracula. Sure. Like we're just Dracula. two Draculas. I uh, I'm just letting you know. I mean, here's the thing. Look, I have it. It's written here. She left yesterday, so that means uh-huh. she's been traveling at a pace of about. Uh, how long does it take us to walk? How, she's she's not that she's she didn't seem as strong as we are. Um, but maybe so she didn't walk. She could have taken she... a cab. Are there any? Tr- is there a train station in Salem? Mm-hmm. Does the train go east or west? I mean, there's a station, so you can go in e- in any of the four cardinal directions in some way, shape, or form. So there's a chance she took a train. There's a chance she. Um, took a bus. There's a chance. I'm, I'm, I don't. I don't want to think she took the train because that leaves it open to being uncovered, right? Well, I mean, she, wait. So, if she traded them for passage on what, what kind of oh. vehicle would she have used to get out of here? Not an aeroplane. Surely. I don't know. Do your notes say anything about vessels? I guess we'll learn more if we go, if we cross the bridge. But yeah, we should probably feed... It says something about a chantry house. I don't know what that is. A chant... A chantry house. Why can't we remember anything? I don't know. How long have we been here? (sighs) Weren't we looking for a flower shop? Oh, that, that exploded. Oh, it burnt down. Yay. Do you want to go investigate the rubble? No. You no, sure? No, no. All right. Do you? Even though I wouldn't mind getting some of those roses, those magic. I wonder if they have any blood thorns around there. That could be I... helpful for you. Oh, you know, that would be. Let's go investigate the rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of going to the hospital and feeding on, and feeding on the person that I have there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's continue to sidetrack the story even more than we already are. <laughs> I'm gonna blame Will for giving us amnesia. Sure. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and make a, an intelligence and investigation. All right. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna peruse the rubble. Intelligence and investigation. <laughs> Gonna get us killed. <laughs> Hold on, where's investigation? Oh, there you are. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Oh fuck yeah. We go if we we either find something or we don't. Yeah. There's four lily of the valleys untouched. <laughs> um. Okay. As you start to kind of look around through the through the rubble of this floor shop you don't find the trap door that led you into the basement okay um as that was magically sealed and whatnot um but you do find what looks to be a ledger of some kind that doesn't have traditional flowers for names um and you notice that there was a shipment that arrived uh, the night of the Elysium that is a uh, a dozen chrysanthemums for a Gretel um, Gretel Meyer. Did you have Gretel me? written down? I did. I gotta stop using my hand. That's my bad hand. I do. Gretel. Well, I hope she got her flowers. Dozen chrysanthemums. Why would you want chrysanthemums? I don't know. They're not very. They're, they're never. Not... They've never. I'm not a big flower person, but those. You, really. Mm-hmm. I'm a very big. Fl- my, before she passed, my wife, she would uh, cover uh, our, our home in just. Vase, va, vase, vases, vase. I'm American now. I've been Americanized. <laughs> and just vases f- com- 
filled with various lilies. She was a very big fan of lilies, my wife. That's very pretty. Yeah. I grew up. There were lots of my 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 nah my 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 parents weren't like that. My. I'll buy I'll buy you some they're... flowers. You I'm don't sure have they are to. Some of the no, thanks. it's fine. I have money. You have you have I lira. Have, I have lira. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. you're okay, gonna, well, we're laughing at it now but one day we're going to go to Italy and you're going to be like oh I'm Connie and I don't have money and I'm like oh Connie I have a thousand lira on me at all times Minimum. what's great is that I won't have lira but I'll have these flowers that I don't know what to do with and that's and that's really that's the wealth that is the wealth because then you can okay. sell the flowers all right. Well, let's come up with a plan. I mean, you want to use your lira at the gift shop for 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 harmony, melody, Melanie, Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. I'll get there. I'll remember. Okay. Someday. What let's was Gerald's last name? Meyer. M e y e r. Okay. I've spelled Gretel twelve different ways in my notes today. I do. <laughs> Gretel L E, Gretel E L, Gretel One T. Mod. Good times. Are you, are the, do you want to go to you want, we want, you want to go to the Wee Woo place? What's the Wee Woo place? That's where that's why I call hospitals. Mm -hmm. That's where the Wee Woo band goes. <laughs> the Wee Woo. Yeah, place. let's go to the Wee Woo place. Go to okay. the Wee Woo place. Do you want to? <laughs> Wait, are we that? Are we far? Or is it right up the road? It's about 20 to 30 minute walk. Do you want to call a cab? We have great we have great great times with cabs. Can we like Do you want to just walk? I don't I don't know how I feel about the There's no like buses. We can't take a bus. I don't have a bus pass. Oh well. Do you have a bus pass? No, but we can I I have Hey Connie, I have a very distinct feeling that if I were to, oh, blah, 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 I might start bleeding from my eyes again. <laughs> I'll do the blah, 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 and we'll see what can happens. You, can you? I don't know. I'm still discovering what I got. Maybe I could. I've seen you guys do it. I think I can. I I can. No, I, I don't think I can. Uh, but I can. Spoiler alert! Can you try. cannot. <laughs> Are you sure can't try? No, I don't want to. You will, you will let us into your bus. <laughs> has, that, has that movie we come are... out yet? Yeah, it came out in 77. Yeah, it's okay. the 80s. Wait, have I, is it already canon that, that I know what Star Wars is? We've had this, this has happened in an episode. We've had this conversation. I don't no, know we talked this, about huh? highlighters. Oh, yeah. 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 I'd bet. I don't think we talked but about we're, Star Wars. We're not ready for that conversation again. No, I'm not Yellow and pink. again. Mm -hmm. and, you know, fucking blue and green was also available, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fine, whatever. Okay. All right, fine. If you wanna, if you wanna pay the cabbie with your lira, because I ain't got. We nothing. could also walk. It's a beautiful evening. Let's just walk. Return of the Jedi comes out this year. Just so you're aware. It comes out this year. Eighty-four, I believe so. In All May. Right. Not in May, no. No, that was a later thing. Yeah. Okay, well, if we can walk 20 minutes, isn't that bad? 20, 20 minutes. Bad. We can talk about flowers. <laughs> so, all right, so we have lilies, we have chrysanthemums, we have roses, we have daisies, we have petunias, we have. Um, I have a book of flowers around here somewhere. Um, we have. On our walk, you brought your book of flowers? Of course. I always have a book on me. I'm uh, Professor Albert Frost. <laughs> uh, Who do you think I am? Are you like a city forager as well? I'm working on it. You should if you have an, if you have powers I'm, on. I'm missing my my berry badge. <laughs> He's an avid bird watcher. Uh, oh, absolutely! I love the ones that come at night. <laughs> the you... ones that come out at night are my favorite. <laughs> Are you going to go in through the emergency entrance like last time? Or are you going to go in through the general entrance? What is the plan this time? All right. Let's, let's talk. All right. Hold on. We, I say we do general entrance. 
let's let's take well, a step back. Let's take a step back out of the game real quick. Okay. How do hospitals work in the eighties? Because in tw- in the in two thousand twenty, and on forward, there's like a lot of documents you need to get into a goddamn hospital. Not but not when you're visiting a person. I concur. When you're, when you're visiting I mean, a person. Are you I mean, sure? need show ID to get into a hospital to visit someone. The only in, thing you need in the last like two years, but apparently, according to everyone who's older than me, it's like Brandy. You just walk into fucking hospitals. You just walk into a hospital. Yeah. Are, I, I mean, you may that. have to show your driver's license. I mean, the the thing that they usually do is they could take your driver's license and they send you, they give you that little photo. But you that's just... that's not a nowadays. That's a nowadays. So back in the eighties, people were days, just hanging out in the hospital. <laughs> no, I don't they, think there were. There was just mall rats for hospitals. I don't. I just don't think there was a lot of security for the hospitals. Like, people just came to visit. You could have twelve, twenty people in a room. Smoking. Smoking. You could smoke in different parts of the hospital. You can just walk into a hospital. Let's just walk into. Let's just walk into the hospital. I know. That's what we should have done the first time. Well, we didn't know that the first time because Brandon didn't know how the goddamn hospital work. Oh, neither does Connie. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going in through the general entrance, like normal, let's go through the general entrance. Civilized yeah. people. There's no, <laughs> there's no Monty Python skit this time. <laughs> uh, we make no promises. Uh, and the the nurse at the front counter uh, looks up at the two of you. He's like, "Who are you visiting?" remember her last name but her first name is Melissa. I'm here to visit Melissa Melissa Amund. She uh, uh, was admitted last evening. They was said she was going to be uh, unadmitted this evening. You see that she starts looking through some of the paperwork there. She's like, "Ah, uh yes, um I'm sorry, she's not uh she's not open to visitors. Uh she's been moved into a special wing." Uh, would you like to leave a message for her? I can I can deliver it or have someone take it to her. What well, wing of the hospital? Is she I can in? give you her phone number to the to the room that she's in. I would very much like her phone number, please. Okay. You see, she takes a post-it note. She writes down the the seven-digit number, and then she writes down a three-digit extension, and she hands you the post-note. Cool. 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 Anything else I can do I, for you? Do I do I want to do this right now? <laughs> Don't you have to? No. I'm trying to get us in. <laughs> Come. <clears throat> Come. Compel. Oh boy. How, tell me. Tell me, how does that, how how would that, I mean, God, the problem is, my charisma isn't that high, but my manipulation is off the goddamn chart, so I should technically be using Mesmerize. Mm. Um, mm. Alright, well, Compel says that with eye contact, the vampire can issue a victim a single action command, no longer than a short sentence, to be oh, obeyed. Oh my god, I'm here yeah. scrolling through like an idiot. Yeah. Uh, to be obeyed. Uh, you did mesmerize. I'm kind of. Yeah, and I'm reading. I'm reading both. I'm because okay. I I would need to roll for both. But if I fail both, I'm still gonna get the hunger. Uh, I See? don't believe Compel yeah. has a. A. Uh, a rouse check. See that? Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if I, because I. That's the problem. I've been using mesmerize because it works. Because it works for my ro- for for my roles better. But yes. it, I've al- I've also been failing. Yes. Catastrophic. But if I can use compel and I can just use it, then we're fine. Yeah. Most first level abilities don't have a rouse check. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know um, where my book got off to because it got moved while I was away. So, mm-hmm. but we'll assume that Compel does not have a rouse check 
<clears throat> right, then I'm, I'm going to try... I'm going to make eye contact with her and try compel. All right, what's the command? Take us to her. Oh. Make your roll. Here we go. It, uh, there's no resistance because she's immortal. Did I do that right? It's not a Roz check. No, okay. I it's did just it wrong. the actual skill check. There you go. She died. <laughs> no. You've got two successes. That's enough. Uh, so she kind of looks up at you. You look down at her at behind the desk, and, and you're just like, there's this suaveness that wasn't there before to your voice and the second you tell her to take you to her she kind of cocks her head she smiles at you and then she looks down at the room number she's like sure right this way and she starts to walk over to the elevator turn to connie that's how you do it So. The first time I've thought you were cool in the past four days. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. You never forget your first. Uh, <laughs> but you see as she walks over to the elevators, before she even touches the button, one of the elevator doors opens. Uh, and you see this little girl come rushing out. Uh, I would like both of you to make awareness and composure checks, please. Awareness and composure? Mm hmm As you hear uh, a female voice, Connie, don't run off now. Connie, no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, no. You're oh fine. no! You're fine. I know what's happening. You're fine. It's only the one ten. Uh, no! No, it's not what I'm. No! No, because someone's in this fucking hospital, Connie. Connie, would you like to re-roll any of your unrolled successes? I don't know how to do that. What do I right. do? Yeah. Right. Uh, well, you say yes or no when I ask the question. Yes. Okay. Yes. Alright, so you're going to take a superficial point of damage to your willpower. <sighs> and then you're uh -huh. going to see where it says willpower reroll. Uh-huh. You click that. It's going to ask you how many dice you want to roll. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the... Oh, I say willpower reroll. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. WP reroll. You click that. It'll ask you. You can roll up to... Anytime that you take superficial willpower damage, you can reroll up to three non-hunger dice. You have exactly mm -hmm. three non-hunger dice that you can re-roll. Okay. Hence, hence why I asked if you want to do that. Go ahead and hit three. Uh-huh. And then submit. Okay, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean, though? So, uh, Albert oh. sees a little girl come running out that is the spitting image of Connie as a child. Uh, and immediately following her, running up to try and grab her, is the woman that was in the diner with the sheriff. Bro. Oh, no. My sister. Bro. Bro. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but she rushes past the two of you as she tries to, uh, to grab her daughter. Uh. And you just hear, Connie Marie Brown, you stop right this second. And the little girl immediately just freezes. Oh, no. But the nurse steps into the into the elevator. And you hear her push the button to the floor that she's I'm, going I'm, for. I'm, I'm with her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Connie's problem. Yeah. So... <laughs> The doors start to close. Connie is not in the elevator. Albert, what are you going to do? You coming? Can I make it? Are you holding the... You're fucking holding the... <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh my god oh my god okay so I, I i start walking like like power walking yeah and sort of like doing like doing some some of this yep as i get in there yeah okay so we still had some benny hill uh in the hospital but sure enough you go in uh there's a moment where you do see the woman kind of turn around towards the elevator but the doors have already started to close uh and you just hear mommy mommy look what i can do and you hear the footsteps kind of patter away the doors close and you start to go out into the fourth floor uh, and you notice that as the doors open, that there's a lot of kind of quarantined looking zones, very much like a, like outbreak monk, like outbreak uh, things like that, like uh, pandemic movies. Um, and you can see that there is one room that has a commotion of just a couple of nurses standing outside they're like i'm not going in there the the room is haunted i'm not going in there there's something wrong with the mirror i'm not going in there until that gets taken away or 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 we move her to some place that doesn't have a mirror uh and as you hear that the nurse that kai they brought you up here she kind of like shakes her head for a moment she looks up at you and she's like what are you two doing up here uh, you don't remember. You just brought us up here. You said you said it was important because that's my daughter. Oh, that's what we're doing? Go ahead and make a subterfuge and manipulation, please. Ho, 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 ho. I'm looking around the eyes. I'm giving her them puppy dog eyes. I mean, that's nice for you. Oh, that's low enough that I might need to roll. But I got garbage. So she Good. looks at you. She's just like, um, I'm very sorry, Mr. Hammond. I, I, I didn't. I it's fine. You're, you're a saint, man. I appreciate this. I don't remember why. How. Okay. Uh, it's because. I wish she's, she's over. You she's care. over there in that room. And then she steps back into the elevator. Uh, and she, she just looks confused. Like she's shaking her head. She's trying to piece together the last bit of what happened to her. But the nurses Connie. have moved away from the haunted room, quote unquote. Connie. Mm -hmm. We might have to kill her. And I didn't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Mate, who do you think I'm talking about? I don't want to kill anybody. I've already killed somebody in this hospital. So. All right. But if we have to do the honors. I'm, I'm, all right. So here's the play. All right. Well, I'm walking. I'm walk. I'm shoulder, hand, Connie's shoulder, walking mm -hmm. us slowly towards the door here's the plan mm -hmm. i'm going to go in there i need you to pretend to be my wife however uh, i think we both know you will never amount to the woman that she was but i i honor that can i just be your daughter because you're so much older than me how old did i look when i was dead i mean you got that picture of picasso yeah you're old as fuck i'm like 24. I, I look 32. Oh, you're old. <laughs> it's a hard 32. <laughs> 32. Hard 32. <laughs> yeah, it's an Italian 32. Italian <laughs> 32. I mean, technically, I'm 73, but all right. Yeah. I mean, the sure, picture the picture your... you put up is, is of an old man. Well, we changed yeah, the like photo. Your... We changed the photo. It, it, it was me in the blood makeup. That's oh. the new canon look. Sure, okay. Yeah. That's that's the king. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So whatever. All right. Sure. Whatever. All right. I mean, if you can come with a better lie, all right, you're fine. I'm gonna go in there. You, you just. How about how about it not Uncle Stanley or whatever you called me last time. Uh, <laughs> but that worked so well. Last last time. last time being, yesterday. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, fine. You're not Uncle Blech, whatever I called you. You're um Frank. Frank Hammond. All right. You're Frank Hammond. There is such a good possibility that that is her real father's name. It's a high <laughs> possibility. Well, that'll work then, wouldn't it? I suppose. All right, I'm going in. Okay. What do I do? I just go. I will go in with you. I'm Don't upstairs. let other people in. Okay. 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 I'll just. Uh, All right. Talk about God or something. Here. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Goodbye. All right. So you see him push away some of the some of the safety curtains. He zips his way into the into the room. And mm -hmm. she's she's in the bed. Hello. She looks at you. She's like, "Oh, hi. It's good. It's good to see you again." How are you? Good. Good. How are you? That's good. Are you no, I'm all right. Are you I'm still? All right. Are you still a vampire? Oh, shush, shush. remember we have to be quiet about that. Oh, yes, yes. You've been you've been quiet about that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I haven't told anybody. But Melissa, you've been quiet about that, yes? Yes, of course. All right, I believe you. Um, here's the thing. All right. Mm -hmm. I can get you out of here. You just you need to take today's dose. What? They're, we talked about this yesterday. They're looking after me, though. They think that I have some kind of some kind of virus. Yes. Yes, but do you and I both know you don't? How do I know I don't? Melissa, because there's have... two other people with the same the same affliction. They think it's a pandemic. What? Well, I'm I, I'm gonna go look at our chart. What? Okay. You see that there is a note of some spontaneous anemia that isn't uh, uh, represented in her hereditary kind of charts. Fucking me draining her. Okay. Yeah. And there's just um, some doctor's notes about any connection to the other two. But there's no, like, reference to who the other two are. One second. I'm going to go to the door real quick. Mm -hmm. Connie. Yes, Uncle Frank. Uh, there are two other people on the floor who may have been drained. I think one of them is the cabbie. Can you go find out? Uh, yeah. All right. I'll take care of everything in here. Okay. If they think it's a pandemic. Oh, no. We caused a problem. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to take care of it. Mm-hmm. I hope you're hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, uh, well, uh, have they said any? I heard some nurses saying things about you in mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Then she motions like she stands. She sits up, so she's in the mirror, and both of you have like this warbled reflection of just darkness in the mirror. It only took me about 30 years to get used to it. I don't I don't want to get used to it though. I understand that, dear. If it helps though, the phonograph works very well. I don't know why. Is that a radio? Um, a bit before your time. <clears throat> hmm. Um <clears throat> I can get you out of here because you don't you don't have a pandemic issued problem it's more so i did not handle this situation properly and in the attempt of saving your life uh things got worse <clears throat> okay. uh, but i can get you out of here this evening but they they want to look me over yes but i i need you to trust me when i say that there's nothing wrong with you what about the other two? There's nothing wrong with them either. How do you know? Because I know one of them is a cab driver from last night who oh, thinks you, you we had a sexual relationship together. You 
and Edmund were sexual. Oh, you met him? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they let us meet each other in the elevator. Yes, we were, so, so it wasn't really sexual per se. I'm not, I don't fancy men. Uh, I just needed to sustain myself on him before I came to see you. Hmm. Yes. What this did is, you meet the third is, person by any drinking? chance? No, no, no. Only, only Edmund right. and I got to ride the elevator together. All right. He's a nice guy. No, he's a very sweet man. Yes. Yeah, very sweet man. I owe him two hundred dollars. Oh, that's a lot. Yes, I know, but it's nothing really. I've I've a thousand lira. Isn't that like ten dollars? Uh, some would say in maybe. Uh, 40 years from now it's uh, about one dollar but nothing don't mm. worry about it mm. um <clears throat> the point of the matter is i can we can leave this evening okay however i do need you to drink some blood this evening oh yes do i have to yes if not i if not this will not go as well as you want it to. I mean, we can try you it. Want to... All right. I would. Is there is there a way that you would prefer? I can stick my fingers in your mouth, or no, that's definitely not a, a way I, preserve, I prefer. All right. I can give it to you through a kiss. Um, I saw that one. No, I read about that one in a book. You're like my. You're like my dad's age. That's weird. Yeah, I, I'm thirty-two. Oh. Well, I'm 74, but you know. You look so much older. I'm 32. You know, people. Keep, yeah, that's not the first time I've heard that today. Hmm. Surprisingly. Um. All right. Um. <sighs> all right, Vanessa. Is that like a cup? Yeah, there's, there's several cups. All right, cool. I'm gonna walk over to a cup. Okay. Actually, wait, hold on. Yep. Hold on. Let me here, do math. Let me do here math. we go. Here we go. Let me do math. Slowly, the other foot lands. Hold on, Melissa. Melissa, hold on. Can I? I need to feed on you for a moment so I can finish this properly. She's like, why? I don't. I don't want to hurt you. I promise. It's actually going to That's, feel very nice. I just need your isn't permission. Isn't that like a, like a like a feedback loop? Like, isn't that isn't that serve like no purpose? No, because once it goes, once it go from you, once it comes to me, it becomes me, and then once it exits me, it is still me, and then you will be fine. But how does it go from me to you? Becomes you, and then from you to me, it still become it's still you. It doesn't well, become if, me. If you if you give me permission, I can show you. Why don't you do it on one of the nurses? And you see I, she, she calls I'm one of the compel. nurses. I'm using a bell. <laughs> uh, make a... She might die. Uh, make a... Oop, uh, a wit... Uh, a wit and etiquette roll? To see if you can, if you're faster than her on the nurse button. Wits and etiquette. Yeah. Damn, I actually have etiquette. Wow, good for wow. you, Albert. <laughs> Watch you get no successes. Two successes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if she's faster than you. I hope not. She's not. Good. Uh, so yeah, so you see her reach up for, for the nurse. Uh, as she's still looking at you. What do you compel her to do? Let me have you. You know that that will not fulfill your. No, we talked about this before that it would work. Hmm. Because it's not a willing, it's a coerced feed. 
not a willing feed. So I don't think it'll it'll sustain uh, your predator type. I remember us saying that it would it would work sort of. Yeah. It's never against their free will, and then. So while you think about that, Connie, you go into the next room, uh, and you you don't see Edmund. It is not Edmund's room. Uh, but you do see this kind of uh, rough and tumble-looking gentleman sitting there, uh, scrolling through channels. And as you come in, you see that he kind of runs his hand through his hair to kind of fix himself up. Uh, and he sits up, and he's just like, uh, who are you? Are you, my new, are you my new nurse? No, I'm the case manager here. Oh, I've got a case. Good, that's what I'm here to manage. Um. So what? Uh, what? What? What brought you? What brought you here today? Oh. Uh. Well, I mean, uh, I was in the alley, uh, making out with this, this hot piece uh, down uh, down by the riverfront, and, uh, and the next thing I know, I'm in the hospital. Oh, okay. What what were your what are you being treated for? Well, they said that I was anemic, but that's not that's not in my family whatsoever. Uh, and then it turns out that there's two other people who came in and uh, had the same kind of thing happen to them. That is bizarre. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I need to start killing people. What is your name? That's a good question. I have to go to a different set of notes <laughs> Ugh. to find his name. I just broke my pencil. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh my god, all the all the lead is everywhere. Uh okay. My name is Roger. Um, Roger. Roger Evans. I was um if you call the last call bar, they'll uh, they'll vouch for me. I'm a I'm a regular there. Oh. Roger Evans. Okay. All right. Awesome. Um, do you know how much longer you'll be in the hospital? Uh, they say a couple more days for, for treatment and observation. Sorry. It all depends on whether or not any more people uh, turn up with the same same things. Hey, uh, when I get out of here, do you want to grab a drink? No. Feel better. All right. I leave. <laughs> the other hermetically sealed uh, room is across the hall. Do you want to go over there? Uh, if as yeah, as long as it's safe for me to do so. Yeah, the, the nurses seem busy with paperwork. Um, as you walk in, you see that Edmund is kind of eating dinner. Oh, Edmund! And he looks at you. He's like, "Hey!" And you see, like a little bit, of, a little bit of meat fall out of his mouth. Hey, I know Hi. you. Hi. Do you? Hey, yeah. hey! Yeah, you're the you're the vampire girl with the other vampire guy. What? <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm. What? what? You may have you on something strong here. Uh, I'm the case manager here at the hospital, just checking in. That's probably why you recognize me because you saw me. He looks at you once like, before. Shakes his head. He's like, "No, no, you, you and him were, uh, were my cab. Little skinny fella, uh, teacher, uh, professor, doctor. He was something, something, something good." Uh, nope. Does nope. 
Nope. Sounds like a crazy. Yeah. He owes me money. He owes you money. Huh. Well, that sounds like a really crazy dream you had. Uh, but you're feeling good? You're feeling better? I mean, yeah, I feel better when he pays his debt. Oh, this guy, the yeah. guy you, you've imagined yeah. me with you who's see, also a he vampire. Shows you, he shows you his arm and he's like, he bit me right there. But there's nothing there and I it's just, I don't understand it. Oh. But I know, I know mm. he bit me and I can, I can still, it feels weird when I scratch my arm. But, uh, but yeah, is he here with you? I have no idea who you're talking about. You know what? Wait, I'm coming. I'm on my way. I hear them calling me in the, you know what? You keep eating that meat. You need, you need your vitamins. Yeah, all right. And I leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no um where are you going so oh i'm hmm i gotta i'm gonna i'm hmm. well there's a third case so those are the two other cases right yep and melissa roger and admin okay then i'm gonna go back to uh melissa's room and see how that's going okay not good so okay did you figure out what you want to compel her to do Pro the problem is, is I'm not sure how, how do you, oh, oh, that's a revelation face. That's not so much a revelation face. This is good. You're a chick. Okay. Cause the, cause the, the flint, you want to inception it, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, spin that top. All right. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to inception it, inception it. We're trying to inception it. So, if if we if we were to say this is your idea, that wouldn't work because that's a very vague question for compel for mesmerize. We're going fine, but compel. All right. I'm gonna write down on a. All right, I'm gonna write down on a piece of paper. I want you to suck my blood, and I'm gonna just turn her and I go read this. That's a plan. Mm -hmm. If you're going to write it down, then she's going to call the nurse. All right, then. F Fuck it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, instead Ask of me to suck your blood. <laughs> <laughs> he said with a straight face. She looks at you. She's just like, ask you to suck my blood. Did that work? No, because she's. It's a question. Right. But then she does Wait. finally reach up and call the nurse. Fuck it. No, I'm already on her neck. God, fuck this. Jesus. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. I hate this. <laughs> I'll never under. I'm never using compel again. I don't what understand an it. Animal. I feel uh, so bad. <laughs> I hope so. I feel uh, so terribly bad. Make a willpower roll. Yep. Try, try and Bet. feed. Uh, try and feed against your type. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Two successes is not terrible. Uh, you only have a willpower of three? As of at the moment, yeah. yeah. One, one of them is gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are you are in a dangerous situation, aren't you? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's not talk about it. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> so <clears throat> every time we go into this hospital. <laughs> every time I close my eyes. Um so, Connie, you walk in 
to the room and you see that uh, Albert is on top of the bed with his mouth all over uh, Melissa's neck. Oh, this doesn't look okay. And she's just kind of like splayed out there like a drunken, you know, sorority girl. Okay. Why do you got to phrase it like that? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to block the door with my with my body. Okay. Or the g- g- curtain? Is it a curtain or a door? There's a door and there's a there's a safety curtain. Okay, cool. So I'm I'm so uh so I walk I walk past and I go into the safety curtain. I see what's going on. I'm like, by the way, Edmund is here. He's doing great. He's looking for his money. And he remembers us as the vampire people. Hold on, I assume it's gonna look a lot like this. Sure, take your time. Yeah. You hear footsteps coming towards the door. Coming, Miss Hammond, what seems to be the problem? Got the button off. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I'm going to go outside for a second. All right. The second you open the door, you bump right into the nurse that's coming. Okay. Nurse, oh my goodness. It is, it is so good to, to, you know, she slipped into and clicked on the button by accident. She's doing very well. But can you help me find a bathroom around here? I am so lost. Oh. I feel like I'm going up and down she, corridors. She looks at you. She says, There's a bathroom in the room. Let me just show you. And you see. No, no, coming. no. I don't want to use hers. It's really icky. I'd rather use the public one. Can you take me to the one down the hall? Because she's actually in there right now, so it's. Can I just check to better. make sure that she's okay then, and she tries she's again perf- to get past, past no. her? No, I'm, I promise you, she's there with her, with her, with with Frank. She's fine, but I am about to you mean, poop my pants. You mean Fred? I'm about um, Frank. Fred? Mm-hmm. I'm about to poop my pants. Can you take me to um. where I can poop, please, <laughs> ma'am? Ma'am, uh, make a manipulation and subterfuge roll, please. Subterfuge? Oh, Subterfuge. You mean where I have zero? Dang. Okay. You really just have to think about the fact that this is supposed to be a horror game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it is. And the is, horror is just us. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are, is it? Is it? Hold on. What? What is it again? Uh, subterfuge and manipulation. Manipulation. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we haven't been very. This hasn't been scary um, oh. for anyone. I think this. I think we, it's good because like we really started off. We really started off like in you know, like a really spooky place, and we did a lot of like lore stuff. And now we're just fucking about it in a hospital again. <laughs> yeah, it's always when you, you go know? to the hospital. Always when you it's go to the so- hospital. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. oh no! How bad it one. Is. Let's see. She's only human. Yeah. Uh, she tries to look past you for a moment, um, but she doesn't hear anything, and so she's like, okay, it's it's this way, and she, she moves over, and she starts to show you where the bathroom is. Oh. Brandon, how much of Melissa are you taking? To kill or not to kill? That is the question. You were really gung ho about having this ghoul. I know, and then and then it became a problem. You know, you know when you're, you know whenever if you want not, a puppy. If you're not old enough to take care of a puppy, you shouldn't there we go. ask for a puppy. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slick down two hunger. I'm at three. I'm gonna slick down two, and I'm gonna lose one feeding her. Okay. That's the math. And then we're just going to walk out of the hospital because it's the goddamn 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a, a willpower roll, please, to see if you can pull yourself away from her delicious blood. If you put it like that. Oh, okay. Even with the depravity of you going against your predator type and just forcing yourself onto her like a drunken frat guy. 
feel so bad. You still manage to take a moment to understand the course that you've laid out for yourself. And as you pull yourself away and lick the wound closed, you feel a little dirty doing so. Uh, And you can see that she's barely awake. She's kind of like slipping in and out of consciousness. Uh, And her hands kind of start to caress your face very, very childlike. And it starts Mm -hmm. to remind you of your own daughter. Oh, and what she might have, what she must have been like as an adult, or adult-ish, and what you've missed out on because of what Isabella did to you. Do you still want to feed her some of your blood? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's easy enough to find something <clears throat> to puncture your skin with, and you kind of put your your gaping hole to her mouth and uh, she greedily sucks at it and she does take one one of your hunger uh, I've, worth of blood I think, I think I fixed it on the sheet okay. uh, but you see that the second that she does kind of fill up on that one level of hunger like she just kind of collapses back and falls asleep Now, do these beds have wheels? Yeah, they have to get around. All right, we're leaving the hospital. Oh, this is the plan? If she could walk, this would have been easier. Okay. So I'm you, re- you want to take the entire bed? I mean, I am I strong enough to just carry her? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? I guess, yeah. Go ahead and make an athletics and strength check. Oh, two, two, one, oh, oh, you know what this means? One dice is being rolled. Okay. Uh, so you try to lift her up out of the bed and all the wires and all the the stuff that she's attached to just make it incredibly difficult for you to kind of get any purchase or or even move her in any practical way like you you find that you as you try to move her it's kind of like pulling a bug like a fly from a spider web okay can i then just knock off my shadow cloak then what do you mean knock it off? Like like turn it like turn it on. And just wait there for someone to come. Oh, you wanna just like fucking become invisible? I mean, yeah, it's not it's not invisible, it's a fucking uh What is the fucking shit? It's um The vampire gains a two dice bonus to stealth rolls as well as an on intimidation versus mortals. Oh, okay. So basically, let's like sink into the shadow a little bit. Yeah. So you want to turn off the lights in the room? Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn off the lights and then be like, oh, no, no one can see me. I mean, they, they, they can. They just have to roll incredibly high. So but no one can see me. After, after a few minutes, excuse me, you see the door open and the nurse comes inside. And she checks on her. Kind of stands right next to you in the darkness. Uh, she sees that she's asleep, and she kind of just like takes notes of what happened to her, what the what the stats are, and then she just kind of starts to make her way out of the room again. I'm gonna stop her. Excuse me, ma'am. She screams. All right. Is she looking me in the eyes though? <laughs> even rods in your favor. Oh, even. Uh, she is. She is looking at you. All right, because we're going to pop off and mesmerize now. Oh, boy. Because I, now I can do complex commands. I mean, you got to make a rouse check. But that is the thing. 
Good. Your hunger goes up by one. Cool. We're back where we started, boys. Yep. All of this was for nothing. But I got four successes. Oh, yeah. What is your command? Right. I need you to get... No, hold on. Wait, let me read. Let me read what Mesmerize is again. Yeah. The vampire can issue go. complex commands to a victim as long as they have the subject's gaze and relative quiet in which to issue instructions. The instructions must be carried out immediately to the victim's best ability and must not contain any conditional actions. Such as, if you see this, do this. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. If this, then that. Com so what a co so I'm gonna run it by you, Will. Yes. Complex command. Can you dress Miss Hammond and bring her downstairs? There's no clause for if then. So yes, it'll work. Oh yeah. So sure enough, uh, she says she looks at you for a moment. And then there's that head tilt that comes with the mind being reworked. And she goes over to the, to the closet, takes some of the Hammond's clothes, puts it on her. And then tries to carry her as best as possible uh, out the door. Unbelievable. Connie, from the crack in the bathroom door, which I assume is what you're doing, you see mm -hmm. you see the nurse come out of Melissa Hammond's room, carrying her like a princess as best as possible, and just struggling, just struggling to get from the room to the hot to the to the elevator. Mm. All right, so I I um I slip out of the bathroom. Okay. And uh, and uh, and I and I go up to to Albert. Okay. And I just say, "This is no something." I have no idea what's going on. We need to leave it now. Uh huh. Yes. How why sh I, I'm, I'll ask questions later. Yes, that sounds like a very good plan. But yes. the nurse, the nurse takes Melissa Hammond to the elevator, hits the button, and when it arrives, she steps inside hits a button and if the two of you go with her the elevator descends uh -huh. and the doors open in the basement and you see mm -hmm. that she steps out and has this realization of where she is and then drops Melissa Hammond Bit. shit and she just looks around she's like where, where am I what, what am I doing? What are you doing? Excuse me. How, why would you... I think you need to go take a break. Uh, we'll take it from here. It's all right. Oh, no, no. This is a patient. This is... This is... Uh, is, she looking, is she looking me in my eyes? Uh, well, as she's looking down at Melissa and she's about to look up at you, oh. you see... The shadows behind her kind of melt away like the predator. And you see Samuel Hunter just kind of appear and grab her shoulders and then bring his mouth down on her neck. And you just see the red of the blood around his lips as he starts to feed. Huh? Um, and... Uh, there's a long moment where he just stands there with uh, just holding her like an eagle with his hands on her shoulders, kind of like this perched fish. And there's a moment finally where there's the last little sigh of life and her eyes kind of roll back in her head and he drops the husk of this body that he's drained. And he just looks over at you. You see his eyes roll back. And there's a bit of convulsion. There's a little bit of foam at the sides of his mouth. 
and he just looks over wherever he's looking he just kind of has his face in between the two of you and he says i i can see the river i i there's a bridge i can see the bridge but it's on fire the river glows red and orange and yellow god it's beautiful i see wolves lupines how 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 red dancing hair in the flames they've taken her daughter she's going to burn the city because of them i see the river i see the bridge a shadow in the north looms waves crashing to the south a third eye opens in the east she stirs again again and again the mountain churns and cries out its red tears this this and you see him fall back his eyes kind of roll back into their normal position he starts to wipe away his mouth like he's just had a very satisfying meal and he kind of looks over at the two of you he's like where am i hospital mr hunter you are at hospital i wasn't supposed to be here do you remember who we are? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that far gone. Oh. Not, not anymore. Thank you. Oh. I hope you're satiated. What, uh... What was I doing? And this, uh, you drained that nurse. This is where we'll pick up the next session. Oh. So... <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in. Um, remember that we will pick this up in two Mondays from now, as next Monday we will be introducing a new character to the Anarch storyline. Um, remember to be safe, wear your masks, keep your distance, wash your hands, and if things feel uh, difficult or hard or you feel like there's a weight on your shoulders just be aware that you can reach out for help um, friends and family and if not them then there is professional help that you can seek out uh, but don't go through it alone and just know that you don't have to go through it alone that um, all of us can and will try to help if we can uh, and if we have the ability to do so uh, but just know that you are not alone and we will see you in the next episode have a good night.